Hi everybody. I'm going to be reviewing one of Equicorp's hats today. One of their uh, sombreros de Pada Toquilla. Toquilla. Um, I received this hat a few days ago and I was very, very excited about receiving it. It took me 27 days to get this hat from uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador, all the way here to Hong Kong. And I've wanted a Panama hat for at least three years. And I've been looking at Equicorp's uh, auctions for quite a while, and I finally decided to go ahead and get one. I've done a lot of research, and uh, what they seem to be offering was the best value for money in terms of hat quality, which is determined by the weave quality and the number of weaves per square inch, uh, which indicates how fine, finely woven a hat is and how much time and effort was put into it. So uh, let me show you the box first of all. It's Mark Fragile. Uh, they use a service to export easily from Ecuador. I'm not going to show you my address. I'm going to hide that up <laughs> for now. At least that's their address in Ecuador. And it's sent by registered mail, which is, uh, which is what I use personally. I sell online as well. Okay, so let's get right down to it. What I bought was uh, what's called an, an extra fino, extra fino sombrero, which is extra fine. It's supposed to be finely woven. Uh, say around 150 weeks per square inch and higher. And uh, let me show you this wonderful box. It's bubble wrapped on the inside. And it's balsa, which is what's used to make model planes and a few other things. It's very, very light. So it's a sombrero fino. It says fine right there. Although it's supposed to get an extra fine, which is the next grade up. Made in Ecuador. And that's their name on the box. The box got a little battered up in shipping. These envelopes are mine. They're for packing with something else later on. And you can see the damage here to the box, which is uh, not too bad. I've heard of people having their boxes utterly crushed and destroyed in shipping. This one's still in pretty good shape overall. I'm going to fix this up because uh, I'm actually going to be returning this hat, and you'll see why in, in a minute. There you go. That's the uh, sombrero, or the Panama hat, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. It's a little bent out of shape from shipping. Nothing you can't fix relatively easily. Now, here's the thing. I bought a hat with a, a stingy brim. What you can call a trilby, I guess. Uh, it was uh, described as being 3 to 5 cm, which you could, uh, if you look at a ruler here, and let me see. 3 to 5 cm should be about uh, 1 and 1 eighth inches up to about 1.9 inches. You can see that, all right? That's 5 cm right there. This brim's considerably larger. If you take a look, it's uh, six centimeters over two and a quarter inches. So that's not what I was looking for. And if you look at the weave, it's nicely woven. It's not a bad hat. I talked to another uh, retailer of these hats based in the United States, and uh, he said uh, it's from a fairly good outfit. But if you look at the weaves per square inch, I don't know if you can make them out. Probably not, because uh, I have to get pretty close for you to see that. Anyway, this hat is much more coarsely woven than it should be for what I paid. I paid $90 US for this, including shipping. And this hat is uh, is not even one of the Fino grades. It's below that. This is what they call a brisa. It breeds. That's the breeze through. It has little holes all over it to let the air pass through. And it was woven in Cuenca. There's no mention of Cuenca on their page. Uh, even on their auction listing, which is fine. They, they talked about uh, Monte Cristi, which is where the finest Panama hats in uh, Ecuador are woven. Uh, there are some very nice hats woven in Cuenca, but uh, this is not one of the finer ones. It's a good one, but it's the lowest possible grade. Like, well not the lowest, absolute lowest, but it's definitely not what I paid for. And it's definitely not the brim size or the style I was expecting. And I can, if you want to message me, I can send you a link to the auction so you can see for yourself. I can uh, paste you a screenshot. So yeah, I'm not happy. I've been in touch with them about that. And he basically said, well, what do you expect? Uh, his name is uh, Juan Saud. He said, uh, yeah, for $90 shipped from uh, Ecuador, what do you expect? Well, Mr. Juan, Mr. Saud, I got a much better hat for less money from the United States. A uh, much more finely woven hat. Even finer than what I was expecting to get from you. So yeah, you really have no excuse. And from looking at your feedback, this is something you do all the time. You're constantly sending people hats they didn't they didn't order, like lower grade hats. Sometimes the bands are the wrong color. Sometimes people even get the wrong size. If you look at his feedback, you'll see that. 
So anyway, I'm not happy with this. Then you turned around and you bought a keychain for me. I'm a seller on eBay, specifically so you could threaten me with negative feedback for not revoking my feedback. All right, if that's how you want to do business, that's fine. But if you think eBay is going to let that slide, you have another thing coming. Wait until you, you mess around with me. You want to leave me negative feedback or low DSR ratings? Go right ahead. Go right ahead and see what happens. Okay? Tenemos que ver. You're going to see, man. You're going to see what's going on when you try to do that. Because eBay doesn't let that slide. They know I left you a negative, and if you try to retaliate, that's known as feedback manipulation, and eBay has policies against that. Anyway, it's a nice hat. It's definitely not worth $90. This probably cost $5 or less in Ecuador. And fine, if you were going to sell it for $30 plus shipping or whatever, fine, I would have accepted it, you know? But uh, that's not what I wanted. I paid extra money for an extra fino. Now what do I get? A very low grade brisa. I don't know what grade this is. I'm not that well acquainted with the grade levels, I can't I and tell you, but I, it's definitely not what I paid for. So, yep, this is going right back to you in Ecuador. I'm going to fix this box up, add some extra bubble wrap around the outside, wrap the whole thing in water waterproof paper, and it's going right back to you. Alright? Well, that's what you get from Ecuador. If you want to buy a better hat, I suggest uh, Panama Bob. You can Google him. You can check his site out at panamas.biz. And he did me right. His communication has been great, and I know I'm not going to get ripped off like I did here. So, thank you for watching, and yep, basically don't buy from Equicore. <laughs>